plan for today is to get the turbos back off, run the feed line from the oil filter, or from the oil pressure sending unit, so we can run it back to these, and then we'll get some copper RTV sealant to put the gaskets back in, and then we can permanently mount these back on. And then if we have enough time, we'll run the intercooler as well. Yeah, that's the plan. Let's get it. Where was that other nut? And this would be so much nicer if I could stand. We can't go any further up. Yes, you can. <laughs> no. Dude, it was like it's waves. gonna get stuck, and then my car is gonna be on the lift forever. So that we got the last two bolts on the header. Only reason that I didn't film that in the last video was because I just wanted to. But we wanted to put the turbos on to see it. So I showed you guys that. Pops over here, what you working on? In Atlanta, at AT&T, um, everybody wins. Both this is the supply line for the oil. Supply customers. line for the oil. Yeah. Everyone yeah. gets their best team 71, Howell Mill Road in Atlanta. Remember to visit me, Tad, for the Tad Rex and Kara Show this Saturday, September 10th, there from noon until 2 p.m. This one. See you there. Offers varied by device restrictions may apply. So. Shop now at Dick's Sporting Goods for the hottest apparels and footwear from the best brands like Nike, Adidas Originals, The North Face, Hoka, Burst, Kalia, Birkenstock, Doc Martens, and more. This is going to go where the oil sensor is. Oil pressure sensor, I think, is what's there. And then this is going to go to here to kind of extend it out. And then this goes here. And then the sensor will go back in here. And then this will go to here, which goes to the feed line for the oil. Cool. I don't ask how he knows. He just does. Oh, God, dude. Freaking, I just clocked that wheel. What response do you always give me when I ask you, how would you know that? It just makes sense every time. Every time. It just makes sense in my head. It does. The sensor onto here and the line onto here before you put it in because there's not much room. This will make it easier. This one you have no choice because the sensor's in there obviously, but I would definitely tighten this onto here first. You don't have to be Hercules on it either, but so that's what it's going to look like. Something different, but this is freaking awesome. You couldn't get it to work the other way? No, there's not enough room. But that's just that way they did it is freaking half ass. I I I like personally what we did with the Vortec kit that I drilled and tapped it and and put it that way. It was a lot cleaner. I had to pull the whole thing out, drill it, tap it, and put a and put a fitting in it. Oh no, I don't remember that. Yeah. I probably wasn't there for it. It was it was stressful to do it because if you did it in the wrong spot or you did it wrong, you were screwed. But it was so much cleaner than this prep. I'm really surprised. They probably did it for ease of install. Because that one was kind of, I had to order a... All right, so we can't reach the top of the sensor for this oil line. Uh, go so, up on the jet. That's a fortune. Uh, so we're just gonna go up on the jack here, raise this enough to get that uh, motor mount back in. See if that'll work. All right, I got motor mount number one in. Pop's got number two in. Uh, he's about to put the starter back in. Alright, so while we're avoiding going to the store to get RTV sealant for the copper stuff, uh, we're going to start taking off the bumper so we can get it ready to uh, put the intercooler on, as well as, I didn't tell y'all, but I got a uh, ported 2018 intake manifold um, that we're going to put in there. What we got here? The magic juice. Apple 
apple cider vinegar. Oh, okay. You go back on the smoker? Yeah. Dude. That smells good. Did you see the stuff that's already on this bucket? No. What's on the smoker? Damn. Bumper's off. What are we looking at next? Well, we kind of got to put the intercooler on. This is new. My last car wasn't, didn't have that. No, neither is no Things that open and close the flaps, don't push them. Since my car has adaptive cruise control and I'm ruining, ruining a perfectly good car, I've got to, we've got to shim those, right? Yeah. This clip is I don't know about y'all, but never have I ever seen this come out of a, a Stang. Granted, we've only done like two or three of them. Well, the newer ones, but this is the first one that has that. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we did a 17, we did a 20, and they didn't have those. Two 17s. Two, who's the other one? The white one. That doesn't have any of that shit on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. And our cooler's mounted for the most part. There's a, we have a little problem down here in which we don't have the bracket for the inner cooler because like I said, I bought this kit used. That's the downside of it, but I saved a lot. So anyways, yeah, we got it hooked up here, which is like kind of a weird setup, but I guess it's sturdy once you go down here. So how Pops was explaining it, the air is gonna run in through here and over there, and then it's gonna come out through that and then go back into the throttle body. Small situation. We Pops was taking off the one of the nuts for the stud right here, and it freaking fell inside the turbo. Don't ask how it happened, because it happened twice. Ooh, smart thinking. Is it alive? Is it charged? Oh yeah. If you've ever, never had a colonoscopy. <laughs> See if we can't find this bolt because we can't hear it when we shake it. Not. And that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Yeah, stay tuned. We'll keep on uploading, man. See y'all next time.